Thank you, Peter. Okay, today we're going to be talking about perspective, and we're going to show you how you can do perspective drawing. Now, we chose this because of physics and fine arts. It's something that seems great. When you look around at the world around you, it is beautiful. Perspective is wonderful stuff. Um, you're familiar with roads and railway lines. As you look at a road, they, get, they, turn, they look like they, the sides meet at the horizon. That's because as things get further away from you, they tend a smaller angle at your eye. And it's really good stuff. You, know, you get visual images like this, which are really great to look at, but they're also interesting. Someone like me who's basically an engineer. It's pretty stuff. So you've got um, man-made structures. You'll see parallel lines, all the man-made structures. But you also see them in nature. Um, now, who can tell me what we're seeing? What, what is actually, it's a sunset, but what, what are we actually seeing? Rays of light. Rays of light. Yeah, give me more. Going out like yeah. that. Okay, yeah. well, that okay. Sucked in. Thank you. I wanted that. <laughs> I wanted that because it illustrates the point that it's an optical illusion. These rays of light are almost nearly parallel. The sun is 150 million kilometres away, and one side of the cloud to the other is about a kilometre. So the one part in 150 million, those are parallel. It's perspective that makes them look like they converge from a point radiate out from a point, but they're actually parallel. Interesting story, I was bushwalking, I was standing on top of Mount Speculation in the Victorian Alps at sunset, and I looked at this sunset, looked at this sunset, saw these beautiful lines which weren't radiating out, because they were actually going parallel past me. I looked around, and I looked on the other horizon, and they actually converged. Again, you could see them radiating out, going parallel past you, and converging on the opposite horizon. These are called crepuscular rays, and when you look at the ones that seem to converge on the opposite horizon, and there's a photo of it, um, they're called anti-crepuscular rays. So the world is a beautiful place, the perspective is fantastic stuff. Which is perfect timing, oh, well, because I'm going to hand over to Peter now, thanks Peter.